hi in this video first we are going to express this function that is f of x is equal to mod cos x in the interval minus pi to pi in Fourier series what's so special about this problem always we check whether the function is even or odd by replacing x by minus x if the interval is minus pi to pi or replace x by 2 pi minus x if it's 0 to 2 pi this is how we check correct if we get the same function then we declare that the function is even if we get negative of the function then we declare that the function is odd but still i insist you to draw the diagram in each and every problem to check twice whether the function is really even or odd so uh, as usual in this problem also we are going to replace x by minus x because the interval is minus pi to pi so modulus cos of minus x cos of minus theta is always cos theta so mod cos theta so we got the same function f of x though we replace x by minus x we are getting the same function f of x then the function is even so what's so special about even bn is equal to 0 okay so in case if you are not going to check graphically um, you will face a small problem over here i will tell you what it is that is uh, once we have decided that it is an even function so what we will write uh, 2 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x dx correct when we decide the function is even or odd we will find for only one half of the interval and then we will multiply by 2 same but in this problem 0 to pi the function is not going to be the same now you need the help of a graph so this is usual uh, cos x graph that is cos of minus pi is nothing but cos pi that is minus 1 so here this is one point and cos 0 is 1 this is another point cos of plus pi again it is minus 1 okay cos 180 is minus 1 so we will get this from minus pi to pi this is for cos x of course the function is symmetrical right the mirror image is there on the other side so function is even but here we have mod cos x so modulus means this minus 1 will become plus and you will get image only in the upper half like this so cos of minus pi modulus value we are taking so modulus of minus 1 will become plus 1 so this is this point and then uh, cos pi by 2 0 then cos 0 1 again uh, sorry cos of minus pi by 2 as well as cos pi by 2 is 0 so we got this again cos pi modulus of minus 1 so we'll, we are getting this value see the difference between normal cos x and modulus of cos x but still again we, we are seeing from minus pi to pi the same uh, what is that a v kind of shape is there on both the side it's just a replica on the other side so the function is even that is not a problem if you see this function in 0 to pi this is not uniform are you getting what i'm saying it's like if i say from 0 to pi uh, if the function is uniform so 0 here pi is there if it's increasing then the function is the same 0 to pi the function is uniform here or from uh, 0 to pi if it's decreasing in normal cos or any other problem this is 0 if this is pi so if it's decreasing then it's like only one pattern is there but here if you see from uh, 0 to pi it's decreasing from 0 to pi by 2 and again it's increasing from pi by 2 to 0 so 0 to pi my function is not same so we are going to split 0 to pi by 2 and then pi by 2 to pi this is the special thing in this problem so 0 to pi we are splitting it as 0 to pi by 2 plus pi by 2 to pi okay so um, for from 0 to pi by 2 it is plus cos x from pi by 2 to uh, pi okay so we are getting a negative of that opposite sign right so we are having minus cos x that minus sign we are pushing it to the other side and uh, integral of uh, cos x is sin x and and uh, the second term also same but only the limit is different so we have sin x sin x in both the terms and the first term 0 to pi by 2 and the second term limit is pi by 2 to pi uh, here if you notice sin 0 is uh, 0 but we have sin pi by 2 as the upper limit right so sin pi by 2 exists so sin pi by 2 value is 1 so we have written that and 2 by pi is a common constant outside 
here upper limit is sin pi sin pi is 0 minus sin pi by 2 so 0 minus 1 so already one negative sign is there this minus and this minus will become plus 1 and we get uh, a naught as 4 by pi so if a naught is 4 by pi then we can write a naught by 2 as 2 by pi so we got a naught and again for a and also 2 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x cos nx dx so 0 to pi by 2 the function is plus cos x and from pi by 2 to pi the function is minus cos x same argument so i have uh, pushed the minus to uh, the other side of the integration so it's easy for us now if you see here function is same only limit is different same as this one so you can write cos a cos b formula you can write this as a or this as b it's all up to our convenience but uh, keep this as same for example if if i fix cos nx as e, cos a then here also fix cos nx as cos a so it's easy for us to simplify okay so cos a cos b formula is cos a plus b plus cos a minus b okay same formula we have written cos nx plus x so we have taken x common cos n plus 1 x plus cos n minus 1 x uh, Similarly, for the second term, same thing, cos n plus 1x plus cos n minus 1x. So, uh, we didn't integrate yet. So, cos n plus 1 integration is sin n plus 1 by n plus 1. Cos n minus 1 integration is sin n minus 1 by n minus 1x. Same thing for the second term. So, for the first term, the limit is 0 to pi by 2. For the second term, the limit is pi by 2 to pi okay so but before applying the limit just check once which are the terms that's going to get zero upper limit exists for both the terms because sin n plus 1 pi by 2 is not equal to zero sin n pi is always zero sin zero is zero so lower limit will become zero for both the terms same way here sin n plus 1 pi so upper limit will become zero for both the terms and lower limit exists because it's pi by 2. You got it? So, here lower limit completely becomes 0. Here upper limit completely becomes 0. But please be careful because here we are going to get lower limit. So, upper limit minus lower limit. Because of that one minus will come and outside this minus is there. So, it will become plus. So, we are going to apply the limit. So, if you first apply the limit sin n plus 1 pi by 2 by n plus 1 plus sin n minus 1 pi by 2 by n minus 1 upper limit for this now yeah now you can see the same thing we have written n plus 1 pi by 2 so n into pi by 2 plus 1 into pi by 2 we have just multiplied pi by 2 inside n minus 1 pi by 2 so n into pi by 2 minus 1 into pi by 2 so n pi by 2 minus pi by 2 and again uh, second term uh, already one negative sign is there outside okay then because of the lower limit we are getting two negative sign so if you want actually you can keep this negative sign outside and you can cancel it and completely it will become positive so if it becomes positive this term and this term will add to twice the term okay so this this minus and this minus will become plus so this plus this is 2 sin n pi by 2 plus pi by 2 denominator is common same way this minus and this minus will become plus and these two terms will add up to 2 sin n pi by 2 minus pi by 2 by n minus 1 now um, you are going to simplify it further down so when you are simplifying sin this this is pi by 2 right so 90 plus theta sin 90 plus theta is cos theta so this term i am writing 2 cos theta by n plus 1 the place of theta we have n pi by 2 pi by 2 is 90 so sin 90 plus theta is cos theta so we have written this so again sin uh, here 90 minus theta i know but here it is theta minus 90 right so let's write it in the formula format so pi by 2 minus pi by 2 if i take the negative sign outside then you are getting pi by 2 minus n pi by 2 sin of minus theta is minus sin theta so this minus is coming out so now sine of 90 minus theta is cos theta so this term is minus cos n pi by 2 so what is the second term minus cos n pi by 2 
So now 2 cos sin pi by 2 is common for these two terms. We can take it common and we get 1 by n plus 1 minus 1 by n minus 1. Further what you are going to do? You are going to take LCM and simplify it further to get the answer. So if you cross multiply n minus 1 again minus sign two terms are there. So be careful it should be in the bracket. So minus of n plus 1 so it will become minus n minus 1. And here n and l will get cancelled minus 2 by n square minus 1 you will get. And then uh, simplifying further down we get this minus 4 cos n pi by 2 by pi into n square minus 1. Now if you notice already I have told you whenever you see n square minus 1 or 1 minus n square immediately uh, what you should think what will happen when n is equal to 1 because when you are writing the summation how you write summation n is equal to 1 to infinity. So this a n should suit for all values from 1 to infinity but if I substitute 1 the denominator will become 0 so it will become meaningless. So what we should do we have to find a1 again. So uh, but a1 is going to be very easy uh, because uh, we have already we have calculated for a n right just wherever uh, uh, n is there the beginning formula we are just going to replace 1 so it is easy. So again going back to the formula 2 by pi 0 to pi by 2 cos x cos 1 x so it is cos square x nothing but same pi by 2 to pi both the terms are same cos x into cos x. Now we can use the suitable trigonometric formula. Yeah, Whenever you have to find a1 don't get uh, kind of scared that oh my god again we have to integrate from the beginning. Always this a1 is going to be easy because n is equal to 1 right. So integral of cos square x. So we are not going to use uh, cos a cos b formula like what we have done in a n. So here cos square x is 1 plus cos 2 x by 2. Same formula only the limit is different. So 1 by 2 you throw it outside being a constant. And this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled. Uh, integration of 1 dx is x. Do not leave 1. Differentiation of 1 is 0. Integration of 1 is x. And then integration of cos 2x is sin 2x by 2. We are writing the constant down. Same integration only the limit differs. And what will happen eventually when you are applying the upper limit pi by 2. Replace x by pi by 2. Here sin 2 into pi by 2. So 2 and 2 will get cancelled sin pi. Sin pi is 0. Happily we can write 0. Same way here uh, when you are writing upper limit minus in the place of x I have written pi. Okay. And then here sin 2 pi. Sin 2 pi is 0. So here this term will become 0 on the upper limit. Again lower limit this term will become 0 because sin 2 into pi by 2. So 2 and 2 will get cancelled I will get sin pi sin pi sin 2 pi sin 3 pi everything is going to be 0 so here also you are getting 0 so only for this you will apply upper limit and lower limit replace x by pi you are getting this minus replace x by pi by 2 you are getting this so by simplifying eventually we got a1 is 0 so sometimes it happens so when you are writing the formula f of x you will write a0 by 2 plus summation n is equal to 2 to infinity you will not write 1 to infinity because a n does not support when n is equal to 1 and we found a 1 we got 0. In case if you get a 1 as say 1 by 2 in that case you will write 1 by 2 cos 1 x plus summation you will write a 1 cos 1 x and then you will write the rest of the terms. So here please be careful 2 to infinity and then uh, this a n cos n x. So what is special in this problem? In this problem we have uh, of course uh, first of all the graph of mod cos x and we saw that though we solved only in the interval 0 to pi then uh, eventually we got yes here. So though it is from 0 to pi sorry 0 to pi the graph is decreasing and then increasing so from 0 to pi by 2 the function is this normal cos x and from pi by 2 to pi it is negative because it is going in the opposite direction when you compare this because from 0 to pi it is normal cos x from pi by 2 to pi it is the negative of it so we are writing minus cos x when you are writing it in the interval so this is very special and that is why you have to be thorough about the uh, graphical part of a function 
and then uh, what's new a n we got denominator n square minus 1 and we got to know that a n uh, doesn't uh, help us to find a 1 so we found a 1 separately and fortunately or unfortunately a 1 became 0 sometimes it happens so don't expect that always you will get a 1 one or two terms may get 0 sometimes ev all the even terms may vanish sometimes all the odd terms may vanish we have seen a problem similar to that right in the previous one so far we have solved all the problems from minus pi to pi and 0 to 2 pi correct and uh, already i told you the checking procedure in the beginning itself so why we are checking if the function is even then bn is equal to 0 no need to calculate bn and we will write only 2 into only 1 half and if the function is odd a naught and an will become 0 so that is why first we are checking whether the function is even or odd and we have seen deduce that problems and then uh, we have seen uh, what is the function value uh, at the end point if we have to find if it's not included in the interval what is the function value at the point of discontinuity we have seen so all these things we have seen and now uh, in the next video uh, we are going to see problems in arbitrary interval arbitrary interval means so far you have seen uh, 0 to pi or uh, 0 to 2 pi right now here in general minus l comma l to 0 to 2 l it could be anything minus 3 comma 3 uh, 0 comma 6 so in a arbitrary interval we are going to find formula is slightly different from the uh, normal one but uh, it will be similar so it's easy so if you know to solve these problems then it's hereafter it's going to be very easy and once we solve problems in arbitrary interval, then we can go for a half range Fourier series. Thank you.